Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about one topic which is called Conti Ransomware. It, it made a great buzzword in 2023 and evolved in 2020. So as I promised in my previous video, I'm coming up with the, some topics uh, which is frequently asked in the interview jobs and I'm, I'm explaining the each and every topic in detail to just give you a visibility about the context. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can check my LinkedIn profile. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar video. And without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. So Conti. So Conti is a ransomware as a service that has been active since 2020. Exactly. So it is actually a notorious ransomware. Uh, which observe in 2020 and believed to be distributed by the Russia based group. And uh, they employ the various stealthy techniques. Now, when I say stealthy technique, basically mean remain untraceable, undetectable. And they use one, one application which is called as a bazaar loader. Now, bazaar loader is, is a type of a malware that act as a downloader for the other malicious payload. Okay, and it is basically associated with the Bazaar or Bazaar malware family, which includes various threats such as Bazaar loader or Bazaar backdoor. Now, when I say Bazaar loader or Bazaar backdoor, so example like we have a system A. If any hacker want to hack, he need to convince the person to install one Trojan. And then when he installed the Trojan, it opened the port and then we gain access to the system through that particular port. Normally what happened if you're doing telnet and all that, it asks for the password, right? So if you're able to install the Trojan in that particular system and all that, then in that case, you don't need to, you don't need to type, you know, you don't need to remember to type the username and password. So through that particular port, you can able to gain access. So this bazaar loader is designed, um, you know, its main purpose is to deliver and install other malware such as ransomware, banking trojans or information stealer onto the infected systems. And it is typically distributed through a phishing email actually. Okay. Or by using a malicious attachment or links that trick user into executing the payload. Example like we have a user here. Okay. And there is a hacker. So a hacker basically sent an email. Okay. So normally what happen if he's sending some kind of a script, if there is a firewall, it can block. So he send an email, which is sent through the external channel. When he click the user click on the link and if it's a malicious link, it will create a reverse connection. So it means the connection initiate from user one to the hacker system. That is why we giving nowadays more importance on EDR and DLP and all that, which monitor the user systems behavior. I'm sure you have seen right lot of companies basically giving emphasis on the EDR and DLP because it is triggered from a system. So this uh, what you called uh, your bazaar loader a bazaar loader is distributed through a phishing email malicious attachment or it can also trick the user into executing the payload and once it is installed on a system it may attempt to establish the persistent mechanism. So we can have a continuous access to that and through that it establishes the connection. So that is why in this particular ransomware, uh, you know, they use this particular payload to perform the activity. Now, as we're talking about in most of the cases, you heard about ransomware as a service, not as a ransomware, I will tell you what. So in a ransom or in a RAS model, ransomware developer, okay, they are called as a affiliates. The one who develop ransomware, they are called as a affiliate. Okay, they are called as an affiliate. Affiliate. Okay, or you can say operator. Operator. So they create a ransomware and define its parameter, such as ransom amount, encryption method, and payment mechanism. So the operator then recruit affiliate or customer who want to carry out ransomware attack but lack the technical expertise or resource to create their own malware. So that is the thing we are like the way we have a cloud as a service, right? Same like we have a ransomware as a services. So RAS operator provide the user friendly interface or a dashboard that allow the affiliate or customer to create a ransomware campaign. Example, I am a hacker. So I will basically a customer for the RAS. Is it clear? So in this case, what happened? We have a revenue sharing. Okay. We have a support and update. We have a payment mechanisms and everything. 
so that is why nowadays we have used this concept as a ras as a model okay so it means someone someone is already developed the entire interface i will use the interface and create my own ransomware that is how it works so that's why it is called as a ras as a model now when you're talking about uh, the ransomware this ransomware which is called conti it is one of the most sophisticated and uh, dangerous ransomware group and it has a responsible for some of the biggest ransomware attack in recent year yes it's true so their primary target are retail industries then following by the insurance manufacturing and telecommunication sector in january 2023 the conti targeted the brazilian oil and gas company which is called petrobras which is demanding a ransom of 10 million which is one of the biggest one and that is why the reason i am making the video on that along with that all version of microsoft windows are known to be affected in 2022 when united states government has rewarded up to 10 million for informational group in early may of 2022 so that is why this is important now what is the best thing about this ransomware is that it actually delete the volume shadow copy and try to terminate the number of service using a restart manager to ensure it can encrypt file used by them and they also disable the real time monitor okay and uninstall the window defender application also so the default behavior is to encrypt all the files on the local and network server by message block drives and ignore the file dll exe extinction and also target the specific drives as well as individual ip address so if you take example of the key characteristics of this particular ransomware uh it has a different module so which can be customized to meet the requirement they basically have a initial infection offer through the phishing email as i said because they using a base loader then they do the data exfiltration so they not only encrypt but they also increase the pressure on the victim to pay the ransom otherwise they will reveal the data so in ransomware what happen they encrypt the data and ask for the ransom so they, they can release the key right but in this case they also create a pressure by telling them okay if you don't give me the money forget about the keys even the data that i obtain i can share it in the dark web so that is why it is known for their double extortion technique so encrypt the victim data then steal the sensitive data and threaten to release if the ransom is not paid so from both side it is gone now question is what is the algorithm they are using so if you're talking about algorithm they using a chacha okay which is a stream cipher designed by daniel and it is known for its speed and security and the most well known widely used version of chacha is chacha 20 nowadays chacha 20 we have and chacha 12 which is used 12 and 20 round of computation and uh, today if you take example of chacha is often used in encryption protocol like tls and ipsec also so in this in this case they use aes 256 bit key to encrypt the data okay and they have given their own algorithm to that that is called as salsa salsa 20 algorithm which is a stream cipher which mean encrypting data one byte at a time so we have a two type of symmetric cryptography one is called stream one is called block in block what happen they divide the data into block and then basically we encrypt the key encrypt the data with each key but in a stream cipher what happened data is basically encrypt by bit by bit okay so in case of cha cha 8 they basically use stream cipher and encrypt the data bit by bit it is difficult to crack is it clear and to do the key exchange because we use asymmetric hybrid cryptography in the organization so to encrypt the data they basically use aes 256 but to exchange the key they use rsa 4096 key so it is considered to be a more secure one so summary is that session key or symmetric key is basically used to encrypt the data what they hack and to send the session key and extract the session key they basically use asymmetric which is called rsa 4096 to encrypt the keys so salsa 20 fit example is widely used as a symmetric algorithm which is known for its simplicity okay so it was a algorithm used for the data security but hackers basically use a same algorithm for the ransomware so do we have any tools to counter measure this kind of an attack definitely yes we have a tools which is used to counter measure that uh, which is okay so one more point which i want to add here is the combination of chacha and rsa make the conti ransomware very difficult to decrypt so now we're going to discuss about some kind of a tools which is used to decrypt so first was introduced was the conti decryptor so this tool was developed by conti security team and it can decrypt files that has been encrypted by the conti ransomware the second one was the mc soft decryptor and this tool is developed by mc soft and it can decrypt file that have been encrypted by the variety of ransomware including a conti ransomware 
and third is basically called no more ransom this website has a list of tools that can be used to decrypt files that have been encrypted by the ransomware so this is all from my side team do let me know how do you find the series of ransomware and do let me know shall i made more videos on the details of different type of ransomware which is happening in the organization this is all from my side thank you so much and if you're not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic good day bye